All sheep of the house of Israel, right? Whoever got it. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 1. Right. Cry aloud and spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right, so when we come out here, we got to lift up our voice like a trumpet. We got to be very loud, right? So that we can wake up our people. That's right. Right, because we out here talking, uh, talking softly. Ain't nobody going to listen to us. Ain't nobody going to hear us. Right, we supposed to be teaching so loud that the people down the street can hear us. That's right. That's right. And show my people. And show who? And show my people. My people are the, uh, his people are the children of Israel. Go ahead. And show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. So every day, week in and week out, we come out here. We're out here to wake up our people to show them their transgressions, right? Oh. And so that we can come back into the good graces um, in the eyes of the Most High. Right? Uh, bring this out for me. This is Exodus chapter 19, verse 8. Right. Remember the Sabbath day. No. That's Exodus. That's a, where you at? Yeah. Right? Um, so like here. Uh we, when we when people gotta understand, right? When we come into this truth. We got to hold ourselves accountable for the things that we say, right? We made a vow to the Most High when we was in the wilderness with uh, Moses, saying that we would listen to everything that Moses was telling us, right? Coming into this truth, while some people don't like to because they will be held accountable at that point. That's right. That's right. right. Uh, and people don't right. like to be held accountable for none of the stuff that they do, right? We shouldn't be promising things and we shouldn't be making promises to things that we can't uphold, right? right. Bring that out. This is Exodus chapter 19, verse 8. Right. And all the people answered together and said, all that the Lord has spoken, we will do. Right. So the people, which is Israel, was talking to Moses and he said, all the thing that the Lord has said to us, we shall do. We made a promise to the Most High that we should do what? Keep these law, statutes, and commandments. Right. And Moses returned the words of the people unto the Lord. And Moses went back unto the Most High and said, yeah, we're going to listen to you, Most High. But obviously we didn't because we're in the condition that we're in, right? Go ahead, bring this up. It's the book of Joshua, chapter 24, and verse 22. Right. And Joshua said unto the people, ye are witnesses against yourselves. Right. We are witnesses against ourselves. Right. So everything that we say and everything that we promise to the Most High, we are witnesses against ourselves. We should have never said the stuff that we said if we knew we couldn't keep it, right? Go ahead. Ye are witnesses against yourselves that ye have chosen you the Lord. We have chosen the Lord. Go ahead. To serve him, and they said, we are witnesses. Now therefore put away, said he, the strange gods which are among you, and incline your heart unto the Lord, God of Israel. So we supposed to put these strange things away from us. Us serving this, oh, hold on. Us serving this man has got us in the condition that we're in right now. That's right. Right? Us serving this man and seeing this man as a God has put this man before our God. It took away our power because Psalms 82 and 6 says what? Ye are gods, but ye shall die. Like, matter of fact, give me Psalms 82 real fast. Right? Because we got to break these strongholds down, right? Because when we look at these Edomites, in these other nations, we see them as gods. Right. We don't see ourselves as gods, though. That's right. right? When we're above all these people already, right? That's right. The book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. No, uh, try that one. Psalms 82. The book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 1. Right. Yahweh standeth in the congregation of the mighty. Right. He judges among the gods. Right. He judges among the gods. He judges us, right? That's right. He only knows us, and that's why we're getting punished for our iniquities, right? right? Go ahead. He judges among the gods. Uh -huh. How long will you judge unjustly? So when, so, I so when people talk about we can't judge, the most has asking us, how long will we judge unjustly, right? We ju we make judgments every day, right? If I see a brother going off, give me, uh, give me, um, please, uh, Ezekiel three seventeen, right? We make judgments every day. Right. If we wasn't judge, uh, judging every day or making judgments for ourselves, 
right? We will end up in worse conditions that we're in right now, right? If I see my brother going off, I'm gonna have to correct him. If I see somebody running across the street, I gotta make a judgment call to either save that person or watch them get hit by a bus. That's right. right, right. So when it talks about we, when people talk about we can't judge, like that is off because uh, Yahweh should I said we're supposed to judge righteous judgment. That's we right. can't judge according to appearance. Right, what makes us feel good. And you can't curse. Where's that in the law, brother? Oh, I don't know, but I know it's in there. Come on, brother. Go ahead. How long will you judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Selah. Right? No, I said right. right? How long will we judge unjustly and accept the person of the wicked? How you doing, King? Um, you believe in the Bible, first off? Okay. If I uh what's your nationality? I don't know. You don't know? Oh, All right. All praises, right? Well, uh, what's your father? Oh, uh, your earthly father. Uh, I don't know. He was a doctor. He was a doctor. He was a doctor. Oh, he was a doctor. Yeah. So, I mean, you probably be more than likely from the uh, tribe of Judah, right? Do you know who else is from the tribe of Judah? This man right here, who the world calls Jesus Christ, but in Hebrew, his name is Yahweh Shai, right? So let me ask you a question, brother. How did our people get on this side of the world from the west coast of Africa? What form of transportation? Ships. Right, ships. Do you know that's in the Bible? Right, you didn't? Somebody give me Deuteronomy uh, 101 and uh, Deuteronomy uh, 2015. Right? Because we're about to we're about to prove, I'm about to prove everything that I'm saying out the Bible for you, right? To wake you up, brother. Because you are the, a child of the Most High, you are Israelite, according to the Bible, right? You are special, you are above all people. But we are just in the lowest state right. of mind because we discontinue from our heritage, right? Who got it? You, all right. you got one on one. Give me your Deuteronomy one on one. You got one on one? I got 20. You got 20. 29. Oh, okay. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29, and verse 1. Right. These are the words of the covenant uh -huh. which the Lord commanded Moses uh -huh. to make with the children of Israel. So right now, Moses is making the covenant from the Most High with the children of who? Israel, right? So I'm about to read you some curses and you tell me who identifies with these curses, all right? I'm not gonna say nothing. I want you to tell me who identifies with these curses. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 2, 8 and 15. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Right. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we won't listen to the Most High, our God, Go to observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I, I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Brother, is a curse a good or a bad thing? Bad. A very bad thing, right? So if we chose not to listen to the Most High, all these curses that we're about to read are about to come up, or will come upon our people, right? right. 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. Right, so when we look at anywhere in the world, all anywhere, you know, any country, any region, who are in the lowest, uh, low, low, lowest parts of, of those places? Black who lives in the ghettos and the slums? Black people. Black people, right? Our people, bad. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Okay, okay. So when we got off those slave ships, right? What were we doing? What were we put at? Nah, right there. We were putting the, uh, uh, the sugar cane field, the tobacco field, the cotton field, right? Right here. Do you see that? You see it? Right. So already, we uh, you said black people are right, already identified with two of these curses. Right. Give me um thirty-seven. Bring it up. This is Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse thirty-seven. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. So a proverb, right? A proverb is a smart saying. If you want to hide anything from a nigga, you put put it in the book because niggas don't read, right? right? All niggas like watermelon, right? That's a uh, uh, that's a, uh, a proverb, and the byword is being called anything out of your God-given nationality. Like you, we were. Um, you said you were black, right? Yeah. Right. In the Bible, the Most High doesn't call nobody black, right? No Puerto Rican, nor uh, Jamaican, nor uh, Hispanic, Puerto Rican, uh, Dominican. Okay, and those are bywords. Go ahead. Among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Right, among all nations, either it's here in America, the melting pot, the great melting pot, or overseas anywhere. Give me um, 46 real fast. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and, a, and for a wonder. So a sign, right? A sign is an identifying marker. So when you, when you see the uh, logo of McDonald's, what does that tell you? 
you can go in there and get some food, right? Yeah. So when we read these curses, we can we can relate to these because um, we can we can listen to them and we can identify with them. Wake them identify up. with them, right? Go ahead. That's right. And upon thy seed forever. And upon thy seed forever. So now in 2020, uh, 2021, so not you, we are still going through these curses. And no one else is going through these curses but us. We are still at the bottom. Right? right? Give me 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. Serve who? Serve thy enemies. Uh -huh. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Uh -huh. And hunger. And hunger. When you're thirsty, brother, where do you go? I mean, when, you, um, when you're hungry, brother, where do you go? Get something to eat. Anywhere? Name some places. Like McDonald's. McDonald's. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like All right. But, and who owned these places? White people. White people, right? And what did the Lord call them? You would serve your who? Enemy. And who owned these places? Our enemy. White Which people. Are, exactly. Go ahead. And it thirsts. And it thirsts. So same thing. When you're thirsty, right? Bottles of water. Water is supposed to be free, right? Exactly. Who, who takes who takes the water, you know, dip it in there, put a cap on, put a label on it, and try to sell it to you? White people. Exactly. Right. Go ahead. And the nakedness. And the nakedness. Clothes on your back. Where do you got to go? Gucci, right. Can't and they don't give a damn about you. Literally, you are buying into a last name. That's well, right. They already put their last names on this, and now we're buying their last name. Right. And calling it good products. This is luxury. It ain't shit luxury about having a last name on it. Right? Go ahead. And in want of all things. And in want of all things. When you want education, who, who you got? Where you got to go? School. Who school? Who, who owns the school? Right. When you uh, when you die, a death certificate. Who you got to go through? When you want your own business, who do you have to go through to get the LLC or the corporation? Right. You got to pay taxes. You may own you may own the name, but you still got to pay taxes. That's too. right. Right. Go ahead. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Look at that picture, brother. Right? Who had Yosef iron upon their neck? Us, right? So who identifies with these curses? Us. Right? So, again, Moses was talking to the children of who? The uh, Israel. Right? So we are the Israelites, right? Jump to 68. Okay. 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Do you know the story about Moses? In the um, children of Israel, when they was in Egypt, in the uh, in Moses with the Red Sea, he decided to sacrifice a lot of people. Who? Oh. Moses. He, he thought he thought of sacrificing a lot of people. No, I'm talking about when he went. And, uh, he had the, he had his staff, right? Yeah, and he split, split the Red, the Red sea, sea, right? And he brought the children of Israel out, right? So it said that you shall uh, go so read again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships and the lord shall bring us into egypt again did we ever go back into egypt again as a people give no. me access to no no we never did so what does egypt mean right I'm, I'm about to bring it out for you real fast right it's the book of exodus chapter 20 and verse 2 right i am the lord thy power which have brought thee out of the land of egypt uh -huh. out of the house of bondage so Egypt is synonymous and and or can be interchangeable with slavery. Out of the house of bondage. Bondage is another word for slavery. So when you read Egypt in uh, this context, uh, Deuteronomy 20 and 16, it says out, drink, read it again. By the way, no, 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 sorry. No. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Bring you into slavery. Bring you into slavery. Again with ships. And how did we get over here, you said? With ships. This is coming out the Bible. <laughs> right? This is crazy. Wait, come on! Did, did you know that was in the Bible? No. Nah, you didn't. But you believe in the Bible, and these pastors taught this Bible, but they never told you that you were the most high's chosen. That's right. Right? That's right. right. Read that again. Uh, read, 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 the, read the whole thing. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Uh -huh. By the way for by the way of I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more uh -huh. again. Uh -huh. And there shall, and there, ye shall and there ye shall be sold unto your. When we got here, who we sold to? Unto your enemies. Unto who? Unto your <laughs> enemies. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Right. <laughs> Go ahead, keep going. For bondmen. For bondmen, for slave men. And bond women. And slave wow. women. So you yeah. even know that was in the Bible, huh, brother? No, nah, you didn't. Right. Again. So who was Moses talking to? Us. It was us. Our people. The Israelites. Yes, yes, right. So you are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right? Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6, somebody. You got it? Yeah, you got it. Go ahead. 
whoever gets it first. But do um the world teaches you that we're all equal, right? No. Oh, the world doesn't teach us that we're all equal. Well, according to, well, it right. tries to. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, there you go. They try to. They try to say we got to love each other and stuff like that, right? Read this real fast. Guys. <coughs> It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Right. For thou art in holy people mm -hmm. unto the Lord thy power. Holy means separate, right? You are separate for the Most High. Mm -hmm. The Lord thy power hath chosen thee uh -huh. to be a special people. You special, brother. Matter of fact, all the Israelites are special, right? But specifically, I'm talking to you right now. I'm trying to wake you up. You special, brother. So don't let nobody else tell you any different. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. For the Lord thy power hath chosen thee to be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. Uh-huh. Above. Above. Go ahead. Above. Uh, below. Above, above. Equal to. Above. Uh-huh. All people. Uh -huh. That are upon the face of the earth. So what is that saying, brother? We're above all people upon the face of the earth, right? They're trying to right. make us feel like we're the lowest. Exactly. That's right. That's right. And but the reason that happened is because of what? Because we chose not to listen to the Most High, right? Because we uh, discontinued from our heritage and we turned pretty much turned out. The Most High turned his back on us because we chose not to uh, listen to him, right? right? Do you know any uh, any commandments? A couple, like Thou shalt not steal, uh, Thou shalt not kill, right? Uh, thou shalt uh, not lie. Way? Thou shalt not commit adultery. Okay. Uh huh. And a couple. Okay. Go ahead. Bring that up. Because the, the Most High got requirements of it. Because now you identify that you're an Israelite. Now you got to do something. Right. right. That's what the Lord said. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, and verse 12. Right. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy power require of thee? Now that you heard all these curses and you know why we fell away from the Most High, what does the Most High require of you? But to fear the Lord thy power, uh -huh. to walk in all his ways, uh -huh. and to love him, uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments. To what? To keep the, the commandments. When Jesus comes back, all the commandments are done away with. To keep the commandments. So what do we got to do, brother? Stay true to the Keep the commandments. Right, so we gonna read some commandments for you, all right? Cause you said you was, uh, um, you said you were saying the Ten Commandments, mm -hmm. right? All right, do you eat pork? Yes. You eat pork? I bring that out. Leviticus it's eleven and seven. Give me um, Deuteronomy. Uh, no, Leviticus twenty one five. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter eleven, in verse seven. Right. And the swine. Uh huh. Though he divide the hoof. Do you know what swine is? It's pork, pig, right? And we're talking about, and you said you eat it, right? Yes. But listen to what the Most High says. And the swine, uh -huh. though he divide the hoof uh -huh. and be cloven-footed. So though he has the characteristics of a clean animal, go ahead. Yet he cheweth not the cud. He doesn't digest his food properly, uh-huh. He is unclean to you. He is unclean to you. And the Most High said this, right? Of their flesh shall ye not eat. So you're not supposed to be eating no pork, bro. Right? So you're going to put that pork away? Uh -huh. Huh? Hey, man. You got to fear the most high. Right? You say you fear the most high? Right? I got you. All right. If we fear the most high, we're supposed to do away with the wickedness. Right? Do away with the sin. If you say put the pork away, which, what you supposed to do? Put the pork, put the pork away. How do we get in this uh, condition that we're in? Because Why we chose not listening not, to Exactly. Yourself. So... You gotta put the pork away, King. Okay? Right? So if you, you're not sure and you you know you decide to not put it away, this is what's gonna about to happen to you in these last days right. when the Lord returns. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, and verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire uh -huh. and with his chariots like a whirlwind uh -huh. to render his anger with fury uh -huh. and his rebuke with flames of fire. So when the most high come back, he ain't playing he ain't playing no games, bro. You know? Go ahead. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, uh -huh. and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So everyone who's not keeping the commandments of the Most High, a lot of people are going to get put to death that day, right? And I hope you're not one of them. Here's the point. Right? They that sanctify themselves uh -huh. 
and purified themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst, eating swine's flesh, uh -huh. and the abominations uh -huh. of the mouth shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. So when that sky cracks open, right, and you're caught eating swine's flesh, what's going to happen to you? You're going to get put to death, brother. Is pork worth getting put to death? No. So no. what do you have to do? Put. Matter of fact, what are you going to do? Stop eating pork. Oh, that's right! That's right! Oh, that's, that's, right. Right. Oh, that's, bro, that's repentance. Right, that's exactly. Go back to the uh, Do you eat uh, shrimp? Yes. Crab? Yes. Hey, we got to get that too. Go ahead. Bring that wow, out. I got to let the... that go too? Hey, hey, I'm going to let the Bible We have to do it together. Right. Yeah. Do you, you love the Lord? Yes. Hey. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, and verse 9. Bring it out! These shall you eat of all that are in the waters, uh -huh. whatsoever hath fins, uh -huh. and scales in the waters, and in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall you eat. So the only thing that you can eat from the waters is uh, those that have fins and scales. So you can't eat uh, catfish, you can't eat shrimp, you can't eat lobster, because those are bottle feet, those are roaches. Would you go in somebody's house, or if you see a roach out here, like, we we'll fry that up real fast and eat that? Like, ah, right? So what do you have to do? Those are the bottom feeders. Right. You so, just put it in the perfect. No, I wouldn't right. do that. So oh, what? I have to put it away. All crazy, brother. Right. That's right. right. Give me another curse, man. I mean, uh, commandment, so I can. Uh, do that. <laughs> Like, how do you all learn this stuff? Uh, huh? This is self-taught? No, nah, we um we study. You know, day in, day out, throughout the week. We got classes and stuff like that. You know, it doesn't happen overnight, but you got to be diligent in this thing. Right? You got to study to show thyself approved. Right? Anybody, matter of fact, um, give me um, uh, Acts 3 and 19 real fast. Oh, I got you. In Salakia. The Lord set up men. So yeah. the Lord promised that he would send the Holy Spirit that would teach us and remind us who we are in the last days. Uh -huh. So the Lord taught us this uh -huh. through other men. Uh -huh. Just like the Lord set us up to teach you. All right, so we learn from other men and you're gonna learn from men. Right. Okay? That's right. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. Right. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor right. and not suffer sin upon him. Right. So when you build yourself up in this truth, right, and you start uh, seeing things, observing things in your people and, and, and sin, you're going to be able to uh, uh, rebuke them. Right. You're, supposed to, you're going to be able to say, hey, brother, you're not supposed to be doing that. And or hey, sister, you're not supposed to be doing that. Right. Because you don't want to suffer sin upon them. Because at that point, the Most High has set you up as a watchman. Right? And if you don't tell them that they're going off, their blood is going to be on your hand. Exactly. Go ahead. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Right? You're not supposed to avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Who are your people? Right. But no. Mm -mm. What, who was Moses talking to? The Israelites. The Israelites. That's right. 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 That's right. They were ident like they they will call themselves black Spanish uh, black Spanish and Native American Indians today, but according to the Bible, they are Israelites. That's right. Right. That's so you right. know you waking uh, up to this thing right now. Um, so your, your people are the Latinos too. Right. And Native American Seminole Indians. Right. Wow. All right. Um, verse eighteen. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Uh -huh. But thou shalt love thy neighbor uh -huh. as thyself. I am the Lord. So when people talk about you got to love your neighbor, your neighbor is the children of your people, right? Nobody outside of the nation of Israel is your neighbor, right? Those people who are living next to you in these ghettos, right? If the people who go through the same thing you're going through, uh, going through, those are your neighbors, right? None of these other nations can identify with what we go through, right? And you got to remember that thing, right? What you got? No, I said what you got, though. I told you to get something. Right? Um, uh, I got something. Right. So, it's the book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. Yep. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Uh huh. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Hey, brother. You gotta grow your beard. Can you grow a beard? 
Give me numbers 15, 30. Huh? I haven't tried. You haven't tried? I'm only 19. Oh, you only 19? Well, now that you know this, when that hand start coming, you got to keep what you got. You can line it up and make it look nice, but you can't cut and mar into your beard. Right? Because why the most I said? Right? And it look good. You know what I'm saying? It's a man of manly, manly dignity. You yeah. know? What you got? Oh, give, give me that. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Uh -huh. Speaking to the children of Israel. Uh -huh. And bid them that they make them fringes in the border of their garments. Now, brother, when you look at us and the brothers uh, behind you, what is it that you see on their apparel that's not on yours, on your shirt? I do not know. Color? These oh. fringes. Right? These are fringes. Right? Go ahead. Salah. Okay. And that they put on the fringe of the border of a ribbon of blue. And you're supposed to have a ribbon of blue on them, and, and he's going to tell you why we're supposed to do this. Go ahead. And it shall be on be unto you a fringe for a friend that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. So what are these supposed to do? Help you remember the commandments. The That's, right. That's, That's right. right! That's right! Are you listening? That's right, right brother. Go ahead. <laughs> and do them. And what? And do, do them. them. And what? And, and do, do them. them. And we're supposed to do them. Right? Because again, Deuteronomy 2 and 15. Exactly, brother. When we don't listen to it, we stay in the position that we're in. When we do do it, we expedite us being getting get, getting the hell up out of here. That's right. Right? You listening to this, you hearkening unto this, brother. You get you some fringes, you uh, build yourself up, and you can be up here with us. Right? I Teaching your my, people. I wish I had my friend next to me. Huh? I wish I had my homeboy next to me. You say you wish, hey, next yeah. time next time you come out here, bring them. Yeah, I, I'm most definitely will. Yeah. Right? It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, and verse 28. Right. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, uh -huh. nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. So what does that sound like, print marks upon you? And or, you know. Say that one more time. Read it again. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 28. Right. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, uh -huh. nor print any marks upon you. What that sound like? Oh, huh? There ain't no tattoos. You That's got right. Tattoos. Do you have any tattoos? Uh, all praise. Are you, you not, you're not going to get any either. Why? Hey, all praise. That's right, brother. That's right. That's right, man. You got something? You got something? Come on. All right. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. All right. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. So we're supposed to gather... Um, we're supposed to gather the, uh, gather together, right? And again, when we read these curses, we're that nation not desired, right? You're supposed to gather with your own people. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to be going around gathering with these other nations because they're not going to teach you how to love your own people. When you take the love away from us and give it to, wait, no. When you love on them so much, you take the love away from loving your own people, right? And we're supposed to gather together. We're supposed to love one another. Matter of fact, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 54. Salak, I am going to get that curse. Right, because we have a curse on us that's so uh, 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 prominent within our people that is causing us to go off daily. Right, we're not supposed to be loving these goddamn heathen right here, that's man. That's right. That's right, you're right. supposed to separate from them. Right. right, go ahead. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 54. Right. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. Right, so we used to be tender and delicate um, to, to each other, right? When the last time you heard brothers actually call you brother? Hey brother, how you doing? How you feeling? How's your mm -hmm. mom? You. Right? I, me, right? When the last time that happened to you? Because we have uh, separated from that. We don't know how to do that no more because what? So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, uh -huh. his eye shall be evil toward his brother. His eye shall be evil towards his brother. Now when we see each other, we look at each other as enemies. We don't see we don't see love for one another no more, right? They black on black crime. Say again. They call that a man. Who, who's that? White. I mean, essentially, but this is a curse from the Most High, though, because we what discontinued from our heritage. We uh, chose not to listen to him, right? So because of this, that's why our eyes are evil towards one another. You know. Shalom, uh, Elder. Shalom. All right, King. Hey, you blessed us tonight, man. Hey, man. The most for high. real. Man, Hey, Shalom, King. All right. Oh, bring that out. 
His eyes shall be evil toward his brother uh -huh. and toward the wife of his bosom uh -huh. and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. I'm going to ask you a question. Did you grow up with your father? No. No. What did the Bible just say? That's a curse on our people, right? The father will leave the children, right? And he will have an evil eye and be uh, uh, mean towards the wife, right? So a lot of these brothers, you know, uh, grew up without their father because that was a curse put upon our people, right? So coming into this truth, we're supposed to be better than that now. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be there for our wives. We're supposed to be there for our children, regardless of what it is, right? We got to endure during this thing. Even though times may get hard, mm -hmm. we still got to be there for one another. Right. You know what I'm saying? We are our brother's right. keeper, right? We're supposed to love one another, right? And love is keeping the commitment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Let me ask you a question. Oh, yeah. Bring that up. This is Ecclesiastes. Chapter 4, verse 9. Right. Two are better than one. Uh-huh. Because they have a good reward for their labor. Right. So when you get around the other brothers, right, who are keeping the commandments, right? This brother's keeping the commandments. This brother's keeping the commandments. That brother's keeping the commandments, right? These, all of us together, are better than uh, uh, us by ourselves, right? Because we're out there, out there lacking. We have no one to pick us up, right? right? Hey, brother, get back on the, get back on the ball, man. You, 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 you're you slipping when it comes to keeping these commandments. Right? You're going off by talking to your people like that, right? Mm -hmm. That's why two are better than one. Go ahead. For if they fall, the one will lift them, lift Salaki. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. Right? So if this brother fall, I'm going to lift him up. If mm -hmm. I fall, he's going to lift me up and vice versa for all, with all of us. Right? So we always got to be picking each other up because this thing get hard. You know? Go ahead. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth. So woe means death and destruction. It said, woe to him that is left alone when he falls. Why? For he have not another to help him up. Right? So you ain't going to have nobody around you to help you up. Right? So when you start keeping these uh, law, statutes, and commandments, you got to gather with your people, man. You got to gather with other brothers who are keeping the commandments. Right? You're supposed to separate yourself from those worldly people who are out there doing wickedness still. Right? Give me Psalm 101. Right, because when you come into this knowledge of this truth, man, your whole walk got to be different. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got, you got to let your light shine, mm -hmm. right? And you're letting your light shine doing what? Keeping the commandments, right? Bring that up. This is this you is, is the book of Psalms, chapter one, verse one. Uh -huh. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, uh -huh. nor standeth in the way of sinners. Right. So, again, when we come into this truth, man, we're not supposed to be. Uh, 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 Spending all of our time with these people who are going off because why are they going? That's going to make you end up going right. off, right? The people you're around essentially, you're going to end up like those people. That's why you got to get around people who's going to sharpen you, right? Always keep you on your toes, right? Go ahead. Nor sit up in the seat of the scornful, uh -huh. but his delight is in the law of the Lord. His delight is what? In the law of the Lord. So your delight, right? It's supposed to be in the law of the Lord. Some, uh, give me Joshua uh, one and eight real fast. Right? This is the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. Right. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. So, in any conversation that you're having, something got to be coming out from these scriptures, man. Right? Go ahead. But thou shalt meditate there therein day and night. And you ask us how, you know, how do we know this stuff? Because we're meditating therein day and night. Every day we wake up and uh, every day before we go to sleep, we got precepts going through our head. Hey, man, let me go read that real fast. You know what I'm saying? Let me study up on this. Let me go watch this video. What this brother say about that? Let me get the breakdown of this. You know, that's how we were able to go through the Bible and break certain things down. You know, we still babes in this thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we're learning every day and we're increasing every day. Right? Go ahead. So lucky. That thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. According to what? For all that is written therein. So we're supposed to observe to do all that is written therein. Right? For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Uh-huh. And then thou shalt have good success. So, and give me uh, so right, uh, 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 two and one, so I can, right? So don't even listen to her. Get right? ready for slavery, so. Right? That's right. 
Uh, two and one. Right? So when you come to serve the Most High and you're meditating there at night, he's going to direct our path, right? So folks, focus right here. Don't. That's, that's, that's Satan trying to take away the word. Right? So when you come and you serve the Most High and you're meditating day and night, the Most High is going to uh, direct your path and you're going to be prosperous and you're going to be successful in this thing. But let me, tell you, let me tell you something about when you first come into the truth. Read that. This is Sirach chapter one, I mean chapter two, verse one. Right. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. When you come to serve the Lord, when you come into this, uh, into this truth, prepare yourself for temptation. It's not going to be easy walking in this truth, right? People like your family members, right? You stop, you put your fringes on, you tell them you ain't celebrating Christmas, you, set, you tell them you're not celebrating uh, uh, um, the New Year's and stuff like that, they're gonna look at you crazy. What you mean you're not doing that? That's right. What are you a part of now, right? What are you wearing them fringes for? That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got to prepare your soul for, right? Because it's not always easy talking to mama, you know, you know, you listen to what mama say, yeah. right? But when you come into the truth, you, you're supposed to listen to God and obey God rather than men. Right, so if the most I say put fringes on, you put fringes on. If the most I say don't eat pork, you don't eat pork. If the most I say don't celebrate birthdays, you don't celebrate That's right. birthdays. That's right. Then what everybody else is saying, right? That's because right. we are put here to please who the most high, right? right? Go ahead. Set thy heart aright uh -huh. and constantly endure. And what? And constantly endure. We're supposed to endure this thing, man, right until the end. Right, nobody's saved right now. He that endures until the end shall be saved. So every day that you wake up, you may be going through something mentally, physically, but every uh, anything that you go through, you supposed to call in the name of the Most High. Right, go ahead. And make not haste in time of trouble. And make not haste in time of trouble. So when you're in troublous times, right, you're supposed to uh, uh, learn from these times. You're not supposed to, try to, supposed to get out of it, you know, fast and make haste out of these things. You're supposed to observe, see what's going on. What did I do to get here? Right. And what am I doing to get up out of here and better myself for the next time something something like this happens? And then you can be an example to the next man, right? right. Cleave unto him and depart not away, uh -huh. that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Go ahead. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. So, say, read again. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. So whatever you're going through, you got to call on the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. Whatever that going uh, that you're going through, right? Regardless if it's good, bad, ugly. In the day of your prosperity, you're supposed to remember Him. Even in the day of your hardship, you're supposed to remember the Most High, right? So don't let a day go by. Anything that you go through, you praise the Most High for, it because Proverbs twenty twenty four says, "A man's going is of the Lord," right? So anything that you're brought into is because of the Most High, right? And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Again, you're supposed to be patient in this thing, man. You're supposed to understand why certain things uh, you're going through. Hold on. You got precept? Oh, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Keep going. For gold is tried in the fire. Uh huh. And acceptable men in the furnace of thy adversity. Uh huh. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Uh huh. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. Right. Ye that fear the Lord, uh -huh. wait for his mercy, uh -huh. and go not aside, lest ye fall. Uh -huh. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. You got a question, brother? You got any questions? No, this is just, I didn't expect to learn as much as I Hey, man, all praise to the most high. All praise, all praise you praise. know? And that's why we out here, man. You know? So, yeah. you know what uh, uh, who the world called Jesus looks like, right? You know, they just try to make it seem like he's white. But they say his skin looked like copper. Look like, uh, give me a uh, uh, Revelation 1. Right. Any one of you. All right, we're going to read it real fast for you. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. You got it. Matter his, fact, just, 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 uh, in his feet like unto fine brass, uh -huh. as if they burned in a furnace. Right, so if you put anything in a furnace, what color does it become? It becomes black, right? So Yahweh, uh, who the world called Jesus, was a very dark man, right? So when you look at, when you look at this, Right, they set this man up to be God. I mean, honestly, I believe. No, that it, all praises like that Jesus is, 
Exactly, because this is the image that was set up so for us to serve him. Because when we see this man, we see this man as gods, right? And that takes away our power because the Most High said we are gods. So when we look at them as gods, so when we look at them, so when we look at, so when we look at them, right? And we got that image in our head, we don't see ourselves as gods, right? So we got to get this image in our head. And when we pray, we got to, we got to uh, envision a, a dark skinned man, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, any other questions? No, I, so, I enjoy it. Hey man, I'm crazy. So what's your nationality? Um, Judah. Oh, That's right! Oh! <laughs> That's right, brother! Oh, crazy, right. brother. Oh, crazy. You gonna be around, you live around here? Yeah, I still on um, South Street. Okay, you gonna be out here tomorrow? Yeah. We're gonna be out here tomorrow. All right, bring your uh, bring your friend tomorrow too. Oh yeah, most All right. Yes, sir. All right, King. All right, bro. Shalom, King. Shalom, King. All right, Shalom, King. You got your phone?